Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I hate your deck. I don't know. You gotta feel it. What feels right? I'm sweating too. This is getting spicy. Uh, Whomping. That was hot. They work together like a team. You weren't ready for it. If you really want to support I Hate Your Deck, there's a lot of ways to help support us. Number one way is through Patreon. Patreon is a great place where you get to join our community. We have a Discord where we play a lot of magic with our friends. And there's such a community of people from around the world in our Discord. So if you want access to our deck list, do you want to play magic with a lot of people from all over the world and interact or help brew your decks? The I Hate Your Deck Discord through Patreon will help you get all that done. Hey, if you've been liking I Hate Your Deck, hit the like, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications when we have new episodes coming out. And we also have bonus episodes. If you want to see those bonus episodes that were too hot for YouTube, join our Patreon to check that out. Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I Hate Your Deck. We want to give you the true LGS experience. We show up, sling spells, and have fun. Now meet our players for this episode. What's up everyone, it's Lynch from I Hate Your Deck. Welcome to some more spicy episodes where if you need to take back, you take a shot. But if you get three, you lose the game, so you only get two. I love playing Paper Magic with my friends, and I want them to introduce themselves. Hey, it's Sean. <laughs> I am here to play Magic. That's all I'm here to do is play Magic. There you go. Good to be back. Thank you. Hey everyone, my name is Ray. I'm a patron. play Paper Magic with my friends. I see some cool commanders I don't usually play against. I'm excited to see what they got going on in their decks. I'm excited. I'm here for you to, you know, your commentary. Good vibes and mediocre magic is the life motto. That's what I'll live by. <laughs> hey everybody, what's up? I'm Chris and I'm here with an awesome play group. Love playing paper magic with my friends. I've been in it for a few years now and have had an amazing experience. So we like to get neck to neck and really salty sometimes. Ready for another one. So let's go into rule zero pregame. I'll start off. I am playing the new Secret Lair Commander deck. This is not modified. It's basically straight out of the box. I thought it would be fun to see how this Secret Lair Commander deck, which is Okan Eye of Chaos with Zender Split, the Eye of Wisdom. So it's actually his eye. So like, if you know, if you could put them on top of each other, he's blind, the eye is there. It's pretty sweet. This is a coin flip deck. It's a nice, I got the nice Ooh, coin that came with it. Yeah. So I will be flipping this nice actual coin. It's like an O coin. You know what? Every card in here is real. Not one proxy because <laughs> I bought this whole box from yeah. Secret Lair. New it's year, a, new use. It was a $100 purchase. So one of the best $100 purchases I feel like I've done for Magic. Well, so it was like a $100 you know, layaway for like a year, right? It did take a year. Yeah. You know what? But now I'm happy yeah. I have it. Yeah. It took forever. I'm just waiting. What were you yeah. thinking? Yeah. You you brought it over that night, I got to play it, and it was awesome. And then I was like, dude, I wish I had gotten it. And you were like, it took like a year to get there. Yeah. I was like, what? As you saw, it's super fun. It's a really so fun deck. I figured right out the not, box. Why not test the yep. secret layer deck yeah. here on I Hit Your Deck against you degenerates? Yeah, it's <laughs> going to be sweet. He is degenerate. Yeah. So I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll read the card. <laughs> okay, and I have chaos partners with Zender Split. Hence why I'm allowed to have two commanders for those that are unaware. At the beginning of combat on your turn, flip a coin until you lose a flip. Whenever a player wins a coin flip, whenever a player wins, yeah. so if I make any, any you flip, flip and you win, okay. or you do a mana crypt and you win, that would apply. So whenever a player Take flips a, a coin, win. double Okun's power things. and toughness till end of turn. Then Zender Split has the same thing at the beginning of combat on your turn, flip a coin until you lose a flip. Whenever a player wins a coin flip, draw a card. Ideally, I get to cast them, draw cards, get him really huge. There's been games where I've done nothing with him and lost every flip, and there's been games where I just won every flip, and he's like 10,000 size. And then it's just really sad if someone has a jump blocker and I don't give him trample. <laughs> so <laughs> it can get big and scary if I get trample and it's really big and scary. Um, if I don't and you have chump blockers, you can still deal with it. We'll just make sure we move ways for the cords so I don't dent any of your cards when I flip the coins. I didn't really have a great showing the last time. It's one of my favorite decks that I've come across this past year. It's Kamiz Obscura Oculus. It's from Yucapenna Precon. It's a 2-4 Cephalid Rogue that says, whenever you attack, target attacking creature can't be blocked this turn. It connives. Then choose another attacking creature with lesser power. That creature gains double strike until end of turn. And then to connive, you draw a card and then you can discard a card. And if that card is a 
non-land card, you put a plus one counter onto the creature that's conniving. It's kind of a three-pronged you know, strategy with this deck where it's like things are gonna be coming in, they can't be blocked. Smaller things are gonna be like getting double strike, so on damage they may trigger twice. Uh, I'm discarding cards, so I'm trying to gain an advantage from being able to you know, loot constantly. I'm just glad that you told me before off camera that you're gonna fun play this. So I want you to fun play it. And if you put a lot of work into it, I'm excited to see that, that workshop. I always have fun playing. Don't fun lie. playing Paper Magic. <laughs> Don't play it as a fan. Do That's you see the dry tears on his face? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the uh, shut up and just win yeah, already. Yeah. I, I hate your deck. This is the most you'll see him smile all day. <laughs> Probably, yeah. yeah. I was looking for a commander to play, so I picked one for all my short kings out there. This is Tiny Bones, the Trinket Thief. It's a one-two. Shout out to David. <laughs> the colorless and a black. Rest in peace. He's still alive. It's a legendary <laughs> skeleton rogue. It says, at the beginning of each end step, and if the opponent discarded a card this turn, you draw a card and you lose a life. And it has an activated ability that says, pay four colorless and double black. Each opponent with no cards in hand loses 10 life. I'm trying to make you discard cards. Shocker, and that's, that's, that's the game plan. <laughs> As always, I try to find like really old crusty enchantments that are like 30 cents that no one's seen in 20 years. It's fun. It's fun to see it doesn't always have to be buying the most expensive cards to win. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no. You got some big stumpy shit over there. Oh yeah, we got uh, Zakama Yo Mama over here. <laughs> So he's a big stompy dinosaur, three-headed dinosaur. Uh, he's nine mana. He's got Vigilance, Reach, and Trample. When he enters the battlefield, if I cast it, untap all lands I control. I can pay two colorless and a red. He deals three damage to target creature. I can pay two colorless and a green. I can destroy a target artifact or enchantment with that. Or I can pay two colorless and a white and gain three life. That's a Naya dude, ramp hard and going hams. Naya? Oh, yes. Obliterating. Do any of you guys have proxies? I do have a few proxies in this deck, yes. I'm but they're cool cards that. that I already mm -hmm. own, I so they're just cards that are in there because I'm too lazy to keep moving them around all my decks. Dude, that's a, yeah. that's a big deal. I have exactly one proxy and I stole it from David, so it's David's fault, true. <laughs> oh, that's the uh, ancient tomb. Not me. Oh, no. Yeah, the I ancient guess. tomb that you took from an episode way back. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 I have a heart, okay. okay. <laughs> You're just stealing from a child. Yeah, that's fine. I hate your deck. Let's roll to see who goes first. Here we go. Today's the day. Four. Damn, you Relax. Roll. Another oh, roll off. Again. Come on. Come on. I saw you. There we go. Come on, babe. Come on, babe. Oh, oh, you're, you're lying. Four. I nine, get it. Nine, nine, nine. We're not friends. <laughs> Take it away, brother. All right. I will draw for turn. Kick it off. What a draw it be. Speaking of which, on the top of my library, Ancient Tomb. Oh, oh, oh. How about that? Is that real? I'm gonna tap for two, lose two life, yep. thank you. Gotcha. And I will cast this. Arcane Signet. Arcane Signet! Oh! oh you called it, dude. Well, yeah. it was that it was gonna be like Azor Signet or Demir Signet, right. but I felt like I, I... Those are too no, weak no, in this no. playgroup. Le Grand Signet. Uh, I passed the turn. I'm scooping. Okay. I'm just kidding. Well, I will uh, draw around. for turn. I'm gonna play one of the most feared cards. I'll play the island. Uh-oh. Foil island. And I'm gonna pass. Watch out now. Okay, I will take my turn, draw, oh, play a spectator seating, and it comes in untapped because I have more than two opponents. They're like all the universes we're hanging out during yeah. Dragon Ball Super, right? Yeah. I will tap that for a white Esper Sentinel. Whenever an opponent casts their first non-creature spell each turn, draw a card unless that player pays X, where X is the Sentinel's power. That's definitely a stable. And he's a one. Very stick buddy. And I shall pass. I will move to my draw step. I'll play a foil swamp, and I'll pass the turn. I will untap and draw. I don't want you guys to hate me already. I've had no problem doing shit to you, so you can might as well return the favor, my friend. Uh, this is I hate your deck. That's true, and mono <laughs> Which black could be renamed is... I love your deck. Yeah, that's Because if you true. love playing it, it's you just love getting beat like, with it. Yeah. yeah, but I haven't like I haven't like done anything yet, Sean. Mm -hmm. It's a little early, dude. Don't tap a white. That's the one, dude. Oh, I'm having Exotic Orchard for a white from the spectator seating. Oh god, here comes Beerus, here it comes. <laughs> oh no. I that's knew right. it. I have a response. I will tap the swamp, and I'm gonna vamp tutor. Search for library for any one card, shuffle my library, then put that card on top. Well, I think, That's uh, percent on the trigger. You may draw. I'll do an yeah. additional, so I will draw. Thank you. Pass the turn after that. Yeah, for sure. But that also <laughs> stops his two commanders and Zakama. I'm gonna draw for turn. Mountain, tap. I'm gonna play an is it signet, because is it important? I think it might be. And you're not paying the one, I'm assuming? I can't first, pay I the one. I Gosh, shall draw guys. for that. And then you pass. Here we go. Untap draw. I will play a Horizon Canopy as my land for turn. Tap my two menus. 
to cast the Sylvan Library. At the beginning of your draw step, you may draw two additional cards. If you do, choose two cards in your hand drawn this turn. For each of those cards, you pay four life, or you put that card on top of your library. I will swing at you for one. one. Take the one. Okay. And that will end my turn. This is the card, or this card's on top. It's funny that he, to me, looks like the Untap. bro that was Upkeep. in all of those uh, curse. Draw. I will play my Swamp for turn. I'm gonna play Snuff Out. I control Swamp, so I'll pay four life instead of paying its mana cost. Ooh. I'll destroy target non map creature. It can't be regenerated. Okay. Then I will pay two black, and I'll cast Tidy Bones Drink at Thieves. At the beginning of each end step. Pay one, sorry, for No, Esper you may draw for Esper okay. Sentinel. Mm -hmm. Beginning of each end step, if an opponent discarded a card this turn, I draw a card and I lose a life. And then I can pay four cardless, double black. Each opponent with no cards in hand loses 10 life. Then I will pass the turn to you. For now. <laughs> We'll see. I like uh, how he's like, I only draw. I may have dread 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 my... <laughs> <laughs> You say white cards, <laughs> yeah. decks aren't good, huh? Yeah, what do yeah. you think of Dread at? That yeah, one exactly. goes, oh, Yeah, exactly. What are you I see. here for? No, if, if you're worried about him and you know things we don't know. All right, know, I'm going to tap for two, lose two life. on my Ancient Tomb, losing two life, casting a Demir Signet, not taxed. Okay. I will draw off Esper Sentinel. You're yeah, the problem yeah. now, too. You got what good the stuff heck? to do. Am I the problem? We're the problem. Do the thing. Then I'm gonna play an island that uh, is land for turn. I'm gonna tap for four and cast Inquisitor Greyfax. Uh -oh. Inquisitor Greyfax is a 3-3. Three, three. I just love that name. It's a 3-3 three, three human inquisitor <laughs> with like the dopest hat. It has vigilance and unquestionable wisdom. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus O, oh, and have vigilance. And then hunt for heresy. You can pay one and tap her and tap target creature and opponent controls. Investigate. Hence, Inquisitor. Very inquisitive. <laughs> Indeed. I will pass the turn after that. All right, I'll untap, draw for turn. All right, I'll play a mountain. I'm gonna tap four. I'm gonna cast Blood Sworn Steward. Vampire Knight, flying, commander creatures you control, get plus two, plus two, and have haste, and it's a four, four. It's good enough, it's strong enough. And damn, Gosh, golly. darn it, people is it, like it. Yeah. Is it foil enough, you know what I mean? Uh-oh. It's not. I will then pass the turn. I'll draw two additional. Will she eat these? I'll draw one card. Boo. I'll play a Taiga as my land. I'm gonna tap two mana you to won't. cast Arcane Signet. Tap for any color that my commander currently has. And then I'm gonna tap the Taiga and Arcane Signet for two. Thought Vessel. And I'll pass the turn. Untap. You got it. Upkeep. Draw. I will play a Swamp for turn. I'm gonna tap three black. I'm gonna play Cunning Lethamancer. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Yeah, this is Cunning Linguist, it sounds chatter. like you're talking about going down on someone. <laughs> what happened, what just happened right now? Where did magic go? <laughs> cunning Lethamancer. It says, it's a two Cunning? T -t -t. Yeah. Lethamancer. Lethamancer. You don't get to correct me on pronunciation. <laughs> you're dead last. <laughs> I am, I am dead Oh my god. <laughs> at the beginning of my upkeep, each player discards a card. And on principle, I'm swinging at you. Yeah. Yeah. No block, sir. Are you certain? Quite certain, indeed. He's like, take that. <laughs> yeah, That's the clap back. <laughs> there, are you happy? Yeah, I got a little bit. <laughs> Your turn. I'll untap. Yep. I will draw. I will play Morphic Pool as my land for turn. It will enter untapped as I have two or more opponents. And then I'm gonna tap for four, and I'm gonna cast my commander, Kamiz, Obscura Oculus. It is a two, four. It says whenever I attack, target attacking creature can't be blocked this turn, it connive. Then choose another attacking creature with lesser power. That creature gains double strike until end of turn. I'm gonna go to combat then. I'm gonna give the connive trigger to Inquisitor Greyfax. I'm gonna go to combat now. I'm gonna attack with Inquisitor Greyfax. When I do that, Kamiz's trigger will go off. Are there any responses to me going to combat or anything like that? I should probably not like steamroll past that in case anybody no. has effects. No response. Swinging with Inquisitor Greyfax, who has vigilance. Greyfax Inquisitor. Is going on an Inquisition. Not the Spanish kind. No. <laughs> Kamiz will trigger, unblockable, and it can't be blocked and connive. So I will draw a card, then I will... I'm swinging this way too, oh. towards Manassian. My man. Hey. Bring in the heat. Come on now. <laughs> if not you, then who? Well, I'm going to discard Shadow Grange Archfiend when I do that. I'm gonna pay its madness cost when I do, which is eight life and two and a black. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a creature with the greatest power among creatures they control. I gain Oof. life equal to the greatest power among the creatures sacrificed this way. Six, seven, eight. That will put a plus one counter onto uh, Inquisitor Greyfax as well. 
He's gonna have to sacrifice the Esper anyway. Mm -hmm. Bloodsword Steward's gonna go, and so is the uh, cunning linguist <laughs> over there. So I'll gain four from the uh, the dude. Never mind. Let's do One, it. One, two, three, four, because of the Shadow Grange Archfiend. I guess resolve damage. And then you hit me for four? Four power. The Inquisition okay. has completed. After that, I go to my end step, I pass the turn. Okay. On your end step, Tiny Bones will see you discarding, uh, I'll lose a uh, life yes. and draw a card. Nice. Yep. All right, untap. Draw for turn. So we can't make a sack again right now. No, 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 no. It's not like a repeatable offense. It was just the one time. It's not like I could recur it from the graveyard or anything. A mountain. I played a land for turn. So I'm going to tap <laughs> yes. three mountains and it is a signet. I'll cast Boom Pile. Tap it, flip a coin. If you win the flip, destroy all non-land permanents. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much fun. <sighs> like this deals with his problem a little bit. Mm -hmm. Also this sense. situation. It's more like that, that situation. It deals with all the situations. I mean, well, you can control but this. I it, won't attack you with it. Do you risk it for the biscuit? Absolutely. I think it is risk it, risking time. Absolutely. All right, I'll yeah, tap you it. Just you can do it any time. That's the only reason why I say it. I, I could, but if I do wait, he gets a Sylvan. And then we can prevent him sure. from like stacking, because he still gets to stack. He gets to draw three cards and then put two back. Blue goes boom? Blue goes boom. Absolutely. Fuck! Oh! Yes. Oh. That was heartbreaking. That was heartbreaking. <laughs> Pass. Pass the turn. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. <laughs> this should be called Russian roulette. That's how it should be it. called. Because you don't know if yeah, it's, exactly. if it's like, actually going to work. It. So I untap my lands. Yep. And then Sylvan Library trigger. I'm going to look at the top three. And I will choose to draw one card. And then I'll go ahead and play a Fabled Passage as my land. I'll tap three. One, two, three. Making sure I have green mana. I cast Wood Elves. Search my library for a forest card and put it into play. Then shuffle. So I'll shock in a Temple Garden with the Wood Elves and lose two life for that. Yeah, you will. Dude. I'm gonna crack that Fabled <laughs> Passage and do another <laughs> search. Look for a basic, it'll come in untapped. Time here, command easy. we would have given you the, the approval. There you go, mount. There you go. Just do like a nice and easy. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Yeah, pop, Get pop, that cut. basic. I have, I have a card I'm gonna play and I just want you to read the lore text in the Inquisitor Grief Facts. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna tap two manias. That'll be green and red for nature's lore. Oh, fuck this. Boys, <laughs> boys, boys. Searching boys. for a forest. <laughs> It's called Ramp. You know, every time Surprise. you search your library unnecessarily. I have to do it in steps. Butterfly loses its wings. <laughs> I get three searches, okay? That's like a new rule. Yeah, How about yeah. that? Three searches a turn? Searches, yeah, we, you we take get a shot. it, just yeah. search. <laughs> totally. And you get the timer counter. You yeah, get the exactly. time, the, the, like the chess clock. Yeah. <laughs> You're searching your library again. Shots. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> shot, 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 yeah, shot, yeah. shot, 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 shots. Everybody. <laughs> just like <laughs> oh confetti God. comes out of nowhere. One of us. Cut, please. Are you lying? He's already playing uh, Zakama, which... I'm gonna go ahead and pass my turn. He sounds like Mortal Kombat. With a few mana. Zakama! <laughs> 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 for me? <laughs> Draw for turn. <laughs> I'll play a land for turn. It's a swamp. Can I get some help from my friends? I'm gonna pay mm -hmm. one black, and I'm gonna duress targeting you. The target Oof. opponent reveals his or her hand. I choose a non-creature, non-land card. That player discards that card. <sighs> yeah, yeah, let's see it. Okay, here's what I got. Vorinclex, Idyllic Tutor, oh, Deep Gnome. Path, Path and Swords. And Swords. Ew. I'm gonna choose Idyllic Tutor for you to discard. Okay. There's your handbag. I will then tap three black and I will play Phyrexian Arena. At the beginning of my upkeep, I draw a card and lose a life. And then I'll move to my end step. You discarded a card this turn. Yes. I lose a life, draw a card. Trigger, Incy, Wincy, Teensy, Tiny Bones. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not about the size of the bones. <laughs> All right, anyway, I'm gonna draw for turn. I'm gonna tap for two, losing two life. I'm gonna cast a Containment Construct. Mm -hmm. Is a two one. Whenever you discard a card, you may exile that card from your graveyard. If you do, you may play that card this turn. Then I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna give the Shadow Grange Archfiend the Kamiz trigger of uh, being unblockable, and it's gonna go at Manassian over there. Grayfax is gonna get double strike and go at Lynch over here, and that's what I'm doing. So. Range will trigger, I will draw a card. I'm going to discard Archfiend of Ifnir. That will go into exile from the containment construct. For now, I'll just put it here. That will also put a plus one counter onto my Shadow Grange Archfiend. He is unblockable, and he's going at you, Manassian, for 10. Because he has eight power, plus the one, plus one, plus oh, and the plus one, plus one counter. 
10 going at you, and Inquisitor mm -hmm. Grayfax is going at you. And he's just gonna chump it. So I gotta get in damage where I can. Can you just do both of these? I mean, because right now, I mean, he's popping. I mean, he's gonna be, he could possibly cast this next turn. You're 100% right. I would be leaving damage on the and board, and they un, have vigilance. And, so, he can, and he can untap right. his whole yeah. his whole land. All his okay. lands was a comma. I'm yeah. just saying, right? I mean, I'm, so let me do that again, then. I've played Takama enough to know that against it, even though I haven't played against yours. <laughs> okay, you that have. That he can probably <laughs> cast it next turn, and then untap all of his lands, and then we're fucked if we don't get him as low as possible, where he can start gaining life again. If you don't attack me, <laughs> I will wait to boom pile until Zakama right. comes out. And I'm gonna have them all going at you, Manassian. Shadow Grange is unblockable. He's at 10 power. Mm -hmm. Kamiz is a 3-5 with Vigilance. They all have Vigilance. And Inquisitor Grayfax is a 4 power with Vigilance and has Double Strike. So then I will respond to your attacks. Tap the Arcane Signet for white. Path to Exile, your Fiend over here, your Arch Fiend. So you can search your library for a basic, put it into play tap. Does he have Trample? No, the, the, he has Double Strike. Okay, I will block it with my Wood Elves, I'll chump. Okay, I'm gonna yep. go to Planes. I'll enter tapped, and then so you'll take three. All right. So you took three. I did. Commander damage. Second main phase, I will tap for five, and I will cast the Archfiend of Ifnir. Is a five-four with flying. Uh, whenever I cycle or discard another card, put a minus one counter on each creature my opponent's control. Second main card. phase, I will I will play this island as my land for turn, and then I will pass the turn. On your end step, tiny bones. Triggers. Does see that I discarded a card. You discarded a card, I'll yes. lose a draw a card. The Arch mm -hmm. Fiend. Untap. Yeah. Nope, keep triggers. <laughs> nah. Draw. Hey, boom pow that shit, bro. I'll tap two red, and I'll tap the Signet. I'm gonna cast Planar Chaos. Mm -hmm. My favorite card. At the beginning card. of your upkeep, My. flip a coin. If you lose the coin, sacrifice Planar Chaos. Whenever a player plays a spell, that player flips a coin. If he or she loses the flip, counter that spell. Oof. Dude, that is the, the, my favorite card. This wow. is the best counter I can have. You know, it's pretty damn good. everything right we play, now. we have to flip for. Can we use the everything. cool coin? And yes. It's all players. Oh my God. It's all players. Dang, Sam, hell. Yeah. At least you got to do all this before this came out. That He's gonna. Nasty. Hopefully, it's gonna make him work for his spells. I'm cool with that. I will go ahead and play a mountain for mm -hmm. turn. Ship it. I will untap my upkeep seven library trigger. Brought what are you doing? You're in I'm taking back. an extra card and losing four life. Boom. Okay. Play Zakama, coward. I will play a Plains as my land. I'm casting a Mana Crypt. Are you? Or Corn, am please. I? Oh, hell yeah. What do you want? Blue goes boom? No, blue's good. <laughs> oh. Could you see that? It spin? gets counter! Oh. Okay, okay. And the chaos, chaos begins. Come on, the it, chaos. It has begun. That, that, Two dollar card, three hundred dollar mana crypt. Oh, 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 yeah, that's value. Everybody in the comments is excited. It's about yeah. counter all that's, your that's good stuff. That's pretty soon. generous saying. That's two dollars. Is that two dollars? I think it's pretty degenerate. It it's dollar. pretty degenerate, guys. <laughs> that is a very expensive mana crypt. That's foil too. <laughs> totally. My hundred dollars secret layer commander deck. <laughs> you said, bucks. "May I play this really expensive uh, mana crypt?" And it said, "No, secret layer." Says, How about <laughs> Nate? <sighs> attempting to cast as a comma. Will you? That's why I'm saying attempting. What do you want? <laughs> Blue goes boom. Blue goes boom? Wait, what does that mean? It so resolves. So I cast a comma. He's a Vigilance Reach Trample 9-9 nine, nine Elder Dinosaur, which isn't threatening enough for you. Then he says when he enters the battlefield, if you cast it, untap all lands you control. And he's got three different abilities. You pay three mana with the red. He deals three damage to target creature. You pay three mana with green. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. You pay three with white. You gain three life. So ETBs, I untap my lands. Is that a trigger? Can I respond to the trigger of that or no? Yes, it's that an trigger ATB goes trigger. on stack. Should I try to boom pile? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to lose my stuff. On the trigger, I'm going to tap the boom pile. Because we did say I would wait till he cast it. It's cast, a trigger's yes. gone on the yeah. stack. Dude, I don't know. You got to feel it. <sighs> what feels right? I'm sweating too. Dude. I feel like red. Red oh, is dead? Right red is dead. Oh, yeah! I can still respond. I'll tap three. I'll cast one. <laughs> oh, really? I had a backup. Will you cast Chaos Sword? You gotta flip for it. You'd have to flip for it. Oh, it's your oh, own card. No. It's your own card. <laughs> flip <laughs> away, Lynch. This is getting spicy. Uh, red, red is I dead. win. We'll do red. There you go. Not meant to be. Chaos Sword doesn't result. 
Yay. Ooh. Now I can continue my turn? Yep. <laughs> so I'm gonna tap a forest, a mountain, and a plains. And I'll use a comma's ability to blow up your chaos. Yeah. Planar chaos. Mm. Yes, sir. Should have waited till I could <laughs> definitely do it. I forgot about the each player thing. <laughs> That's the chaos the ass, of it, though. Okay, I should have just taken a shot the minute you guys said it did. Cause I thought about it, I was like, you know, and then I was hoping I was just gonna win the roll. I'll pass to you. Lost the thing. After that, if I was well. Passing the turn. Okay. Pass the turn. Untap, upkeep. I have a trigger of Fraction Arena. I draw a card and lose life. Mm -hmm. Then I'll move to my draw step and draw a card. We'll play Swamp for turn. I'm gonna tap five, five black mana. I'm gonna play Fraying Omnipotence. Each player loses half their life, then discards half the cards in their hand, then sacrifices half the creatures they control, and you round up each time. Come on now, come on now. Yeah, okay, yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. He has only one, he has yeah, yeah. to sacrifice yeah, 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 yeah. that. Oh jeez. Uh, he has to. Yeah. I will respond. I'm gonna tap the Temple Garden and my Taiga to flash in a Deep Gnome, Terramancer. Mold Earth, whenever one or more lands enter the battlefield under your opponent's control, without being played, you may search your library for a Plains card, put it on the battlefield, tap, shuffle. Do this only once each turn. We saw the hand. We However, the common flash. may not live. Also, if you have one card in hand, is that discarded? I only have two. Yeah, that round what happens? Yeah, okay. round yep. Got it. Your life first, does everyone lose half their life? Round up. That was important. I'm a child. What is half my life rounded up? Rounded up is 15. 15. My man. Then discard half the cards in your hand. Swords to plowshares. Discard. I have two cards in hand, so I discard one card. It's a swamp. I actually go to exile with containment construct. It's a me, so I'm not actually going to do that. I'm just going to discard it. That will trigger Archfiend. Each creature my opponent's control gets a minus one, minus one counter put on it. I will discard a cane signet. I will discard two swamps and a guest grimoire. Then so uh, your mama has a minus one counter on him. Okay. Then everyone sacrifices half the creatures they control rounded up. All right, I will sacrifice Kamiz and my containment bone. construct. Deep gnome sacrificed. <laughs> and then I'll pass the turn. All right. Uh, at the end of your turn, I'm going to tap Quisitor Grayfax for Hunt for Heresy and uh, search for a Zakama and tap it and create <laughs> a clue. Yeah, tap Zakama. Okay. And I will untap and go to my turn. Last tap. Draw for turn. You were still at 40 when I did that? Yeah, no one had hit me yet, and I'm playing a pre-con. There's no 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 fetches in the pre-con, baby. True. <laughs> True. No tap crack sack? No tap crack and second, unless it's a terrible expanse, probably, or a mirrored landscape. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just All right, friends. I'm gonna tap for six and recast my commander. Hell yeah. Cummies. Then I'm going to go to combat. I'll swing both going at Manassian over there. Arch animated. Giving the Archfiend the connive trigger. So I will draw and Inquisitor Grayfax will get the double strike trigger. So I will draw a card and I will discard a card. It will be a swamp. I do not get a plus one counter, but I do get a minus one counter put onto Are you killing me this turn? Zakama. I don't think I'm killing you. I don't know. I'm at 13 life. Oh, you're at 13 life? I might be. Actually, I think I am, yeah. He's got double strike and he's a 5-4. He's uh, got six power, eight double strike. There you go. Do you have to kill me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What have I done? <laughs> hey, four, <laughs> four, I only cast you have four I in You have four in clicks in hand. You have Zakama on the battlefield. You can activate oh, Zakama. Do it. All your lands are foil. It's, it's going at That doesn't matter. Yourself. Your Sylvan Library is foil. <laughs> I'll respond and I'll activate Horizon Canopy to draw a card. You lose Yay. a life, right? No. No. Oh, no. Pay one, sacrifice the canopy, draw a card. Oh, okay. Sweet. I mean, yeah, you tapping Zakama really did things. That was hot. Sweet. I don't have blocks. Question How much about am I wisdom. Tap your three Features. for it's, uh, They're vigilant, actually. actually. The both of them are vigilant? Uh, yes, it gets plus one, plus one vigilance. Mm -hmm. So four double strike here, that's eight, and then five with a plus one, plus oh buff is six in the error flying at you. So six plus eight is 14. Yeah, that kills me. Womping. That was hot. They work together like a team. You weren't ready for it. I was the Dranith no. guy. No, none of us were. I wasn't no. ready for a lot of things. Sky Cloud Expanse will be my land for turn. Sean, I officially <laughs> hate your deck. When I lost with the Chef Come deck, on. I was I was kind of proud because Lynch, Lynch hated it. So. You won in spirit. That's why you're back. <laughs> if you keep winning in spirit, you can keep showing up. No matter what. Should have Warren Clans. All right, Mr. Boom Pile. Pass the turn to you. Okay. Oh, you won't I, boom. I will untap, draw for turn, tap and float a red mana. Okay. And I'm gonna play it, is it boiler work tapped? Mm -hmm. And I'll bounce this to my hand. Big brain. I will use, <laughs> I, will use the, I will use the red to filter into, is it signet? A red and a blue floating Mr. Mana. Magic player. Now let's try this wonderfully fun thing again. Boom pile, flip a coin, 
<laughs> I'm gonna say blue this time. Blue Please blow blue everything goes up. Boom. Andrew, yes. Come on. Fuck, oh, man. Yes. This is the worst. <laughs> the only time where it's like you can't, I am dang not old, winning. Dang old boom pile. I do like, this is boom what this pile, does. Boom Either pile. I get really lucky and I just keep Hilarious. hitting, or I just don't. <laughs> 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 I get very unlucky. This is one of the off times. But I swear this deck's really good, and normally I do better with flips. It's you can still cast your one of your commanders now. You have two floating mana. Two floating. I'll use those two, three, four, five. I'll cast Okun, Eye of Chaos. At the beginning of combat on your turn, flip a coin until you lose a flip. Whenever a player wins a coin flip, double my boy's power and toughness. I don't know why you didn't do this guy. You get a combat step and get to do it right away. Possibly draw cards? Yeah. Just suck. Yeah, that's hot, that's hot. That's hot. All right. Yes. Hot. First one of the, take it. You see the how game. you do it? All right, here we go. Take back shot. <laughs> that must be great. So instead, I will cast Ender Split. I have wisdom. I will go to combat. <laughs> yeah, you will. I flip a coin until I He's lose. Over here. He's over here. No, but I don't want him to. I'm pulling him out oh, to, so for the coin. Hit, yeah. I don't want him getting. I don't want this getting dented. It took a year to get it. Yeah. Why don't you just do like into your like a you know like flip it okay. and like catch it. He just likes to let it hit the board. Yeah. Should, do you want me to catch it? I don't care how you do it, man. Catch it. You haven't won a flip yet. I'll catch. do blue. And it's one time. Red. Oh! <laughs> it's red. No, dude. You don't draw a card. And you stop. And you stop flipping. Pass. And then you, then you pass. Then you pass. I, I pass to you. Uh, I easily I pass to you. I was so the depressed then, I forgot you were there. Oh, I got a lot of hate. Right. I got a lot of hate. Untap, upkeep. I'll draw a card. Lose a life. I'll draw this card. Now I'm go to draw step and draw. My rule zero is accurate of how I play this deck. Can I go crazy with it or do I fail? <laughs> I'll play Swamp for turn. Yeah, surprised. <laughs> I guess it could have been at Cabal of Coffers. If they're in there. Yeah, you get so scared. Yeah, I know, I'm freaking Trepidation. It's, That's it's why I think he makes such mean decks. He's like, I'm just so scared. I'm like a chihuahua. I yeah, shake, I, but I, I make I, mean I decks. I don't know what's going to happen. I might bite you. <laughs> I'm going to pay one for Vicious Rumors. The oh, short wow. king's like chihuahua. I know, exactly. <laughs> this is the chihuahua of commit. Vicious. <laughs> Deals one damage to each opponent. Each opponent discards a card, then puts the top card of their library into the graveyard. Yeah, I knew it. I will discard Godless Shrine. I'll get a life. That will put a minus one counter on each creature my opponents control. So Zender Split will get a minus one counter onto it. I guess I'll Boink. discard a mountain. Do one damage, yeah. discards a card, puts the top card of the library into the graveyard. Milk. Oh, oh yeah, yeah milk. Yeah. Azora's Signet. Rogue's Passage. Okay. I'll pay four, because I miss him. And I'll play Tiny Bounce. Hey, it's me. I'll move to my end step. Someone discarded a card this turn, so I'll lose a life draw a card. And I'll pass turn to you, Sean. At the end of your turn, uh, I'm going to pay two life. Twelve. Twelve. Ugly. Pay two to sacrifice the clue that I had created with Inquisitor Greyfax. It was just like that. Drawing a card. Tap these two, because I have to, to activate that. Paying one, and I'm going to tap down, uh, I'm gonna tap down Tiny Bones. Uh, make a clue. I'm having an off game. Well, <laughs> right, untap. I mean, I can't possibly blow up his board, but blows everyone's board. Draw. Right. How many cards do you have in your hand? Three. Three. How many cards do you have in your hand? I have single. Danger zone. Three, taking two, going down to 10. I'm gonna cast Windfall. You ever discard their hand? So everyone's discard. gonna discard their hand. Discarding Compulsive Minotaur. Discard Living Death. I have two swamps and Banshee of the Dread Quest. And so now we're drawing three, because you have three? Yep. Windfall says each player discards their hand, then draws cards equal to the greatest number of cards player discarded this way. Which mm -hmm. is three because of me. Which is okay. three. One. That will trigger Archfiend of Ifnir, and each creature my opponent's control will get a minus one, minus one counter. So this goes down and again. And I'll draw three cards. Right. All right, then I will go to combat. I'm going to swing my team. I think I can kill you and deal damage to you. Camille's going at you. Okay. Inquisitor Greyfax and Archfiend are going to be going at you. Archfiend is going to have the connive trigger. Greyfax is going to have the double strike trigger. I will uh, draw a card and I will discard uh, Ghostly Pilferer, which will give another minus one counter to each of my opponent's creatures. Mm -hmm. And put a plus one counter onto. Can Can I have you? a dime? Oh. You can have this one. I don't need any more variant. Onto the Archfiend. So coming at you for five, six, and then the plus one is for seven. Four double strike, which would be eight. And then Kamiz is coming at you for a three, five. So you're hitting him for hitting me for three. Do you have a way to stop But then he, no, but then he, he could possibly do 18. So I think yeah. I have to block. 
to try to survive. So yes. I will choose to block with my eye. Zender split, eye of wisdom. I don't have any blockers. So I'll take that. I don't have any way of stopping him. Otherwise, I would have stopped it. All right, so Zender split will die. Mm -hmm. So will our friendship. <laughs> Dude. Understood. <laughs> Understood. That was the I'm pain sorry. train. Second main phase, I'm going to play a swamp as my land for turn. One day you'll get away on the show. Dude, I just drew seven lands right there when I was Well, you know what the hell it is? You are always a threat, which is, it's, that's a respectable I'd thing. rather be a threat than a non-factor. Yeah? I'd rather be like, instead of them being like, well. You just had unlucky with yeah. these. Yeah, man. I will pass a turn after that. All right, I untap. Then I will draw for turn. An island. Boom pile. Boom pile. Yeah. And I'll tap the mountain into the signet. Shoot. I have a red and blue floater. Yeah. Let's try this again. I will boom pile. <laughs> you got this. Okay. This is the one, dude. What do you let me flip. What? I feel. Yeah, what's the color you're going nah, for? No, dude, he's going to get this. Just let it hit the table. Red. Oh. Yes! That's interference. <laughs> I don't does that, does that work? That's interference. You can't let it hit somebody. Okay, okay, okay. Fair. We'll stick with red. Oh! And he hit his card. So fucking. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is epic, dude. What do you have over here? I wish you guys had seen how excited he was when I played the deck. And it like, sucks that it did hit a red. Yeah, I know. It did it. It went off. But you never know, if he wasn't there, then it could have gone off the f and landed on the floor and been a blue. Yeah. And he has one red to pile. gamble. Hell yeah, my man. Hope what are we talking about? Something. What are we um, getting? Uh, you know, we're gonna see what we're gonna gamble. pre okay. with the psych There it is. <laughs> okay. We don't have to flip a coin for it. The gamble came with the dude? Yeah. That's a, yeah. That's, that's a that's value. Really give me a cut <laughs> since you're playing your fate on the line. Make it happen. Well, no, I would choose the card, right? Cut doesn't matter. You could give him your pile of cards face down to shuffle up, and he could choose the card. Yeah. That way our players outside of the game are still acting as if they are inside the game. All right, brother. It's gonna be the top card. No, I know. I have a feeling that B act is uh, and the last one. So this one. Ditch that. Oh my god. There you go. Hey, there you go. Hey. Suck it, Trebek. <laughs> I was, that's why I was looking so hard at you, is if I was gonna copy one of your stuff to block. So hard. Right? Just so you understand. I was like just trying to see, is there anything that I could do to, you know. Okay. And then I was like, I guess I had to just risk blasphemy acting. Okay. So I have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh-huh. Yes. Blasphemous act. I mean, I have to respond the only way I can, and that's <laughs> to tap my signet, sack my clue, to draw a card. All right. Yeah. Wow! Yes, all... I've been trying to board was... wipe this whole game. <laughs> this was turn four. <laughs> we are in turn one, two, two three, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn seven, I've been trying to board wipe. It just, it just took you four flips, a gamble, and yeah. a discard, and a blast for that. <laughs> what all right, with that. that. You pass after that? Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> I got nothing else I could do. Do you have one card in hand? I got one single card in hand. All oh, right, untap draw, son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm making you put up a fight. He's like, just lay over and just die. die already. <laughs> just much uh, here. I'm gonna play a Drown Catacomb as my land for turn. Tap for two, four, six, and I'm gonna cast a Consecrated Sphinx. Fair and balanced. Of course. Just boom pilot. I'm gonna try. If you could. could. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I haven't been successful. Before you I draw. I mean, with that being said, I'm going to Not tap me. for three. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm gonna cast Void Rend on your boom pile. Ooh. What does Void Rend do? Destroy a target permanent, can't be countered. Yeah, the spell can't be countered, destroy a target non-land yeah. permanent. Today's and I pass the turn. Untap. <laughs> draw for turn. I will draw two from the Sphinx. I will play a land. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. It's two more to cast. I don't know how to yeah, it was. Oh, five. Six, seven. Sorry. Thank yes. you. I can't count. There it is. Yes. I'll tell him to go to combat. Okay. Blue. Oh! Did you see that? <laughs> the ghost in here said, and knocked it back over. That is a really I yeah. want you to draw, though. Use like, a different I'm, coin next time. I'm disappointed, <laughs> too, bud. <laughs> you see it goes both sides. It's not weighted. I know. I'm not, I'm definitely not <laughs> cheating this game. Yeah. I will pay for two, and I'll go ahead and 
cast Corrected Humbles. Oh, wow. Sweet. Good card. I am uh, now out of cards in hand. Two Face is definitely very upset at you. And I'll pass. All right. So what? Untap. It's crazy. I've Can't literally had this deck go so nuts before. I'm winning yeah. every flip and it looks like it's rigged. Yeah, that's how good. And now yeah. I lose every flip. This is why I literally said this at the opening. Either I win everything or I lose it all. The, yeah. the, the thumb's in there too. Oh, the, the thumb is what makes this makes deck. It. Much win. Yeah. If you have anything to tutor, you tutor for the thumb so that you're mm -hmm. like, oh, I lost that flip. Okay, I'll win this one. Yeah. I choose the winning one. So I'll lose two life, tap in my ancient tomb, tap for eight. Good and eight. I'm going to recast Kamiz. Yep. Kamiz um, out here in these streets. Kamiz out here in these streets. streets. It ain't Kamiz. Riding a giant constipated sphinx. <laughs> then I'm going to go to combat. We're all hanging out that. Yeah. I'm going to give uh, consecrated, constipated sphinx the, uh, <laughs> the uh, Kamiz trigger, which is uh, conniving. I will draw a card, and it will be unblockable. I will draw a card, it's and then flying. discard a card. <laughs> the evasion is already play. making it unblockable um, for me. Shadow Mage Infiltrator. But I thought they had to be lesser power. No, that's only on the double strike part. Oh. Um, and since I don't have a creature, and, that, and that's a secondary ability, I don't actually have to have a creature to give the double strike part to, so long as I have the first part. I will discard Shadow Mage Infiltrator, which will put a plus one counter onto the Sphinx, mm -hmm. and will be hitting you for five in the air. I take five. Five, seven. Okay. All right, second main phase. Second main. I will play an island, sorry, a planes. That's my land for a lot turn. like an Looking island. Straight at it, <laughs> saw it all the way. Pass the turn. Draw for turn. I got an extra one from his. Uh, hey, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Untap, I don't know why I didn't untap first. Untap first, yes. and then I draw a reliquary tower, which is really cards. relevant right now. <laughs> I need Hasn't hit a coin. So I will, <laughs> I will go to combat. Yes. I dude. have to. Hell yeah. Red. There. Yeah! I draw a card! Let's go! Two. Shut up! <laughs> I get to go again. Hands up. Still go red. Red! Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I wanted to draw point? two. I'll swing at you for, yeah, two with the Krark and one with my eye. I will block Zender Split. And then I will pay one and swords cross. See, I knew he had to have something. He's dr when you consecrate a sphinx, you draw into answers 100%. We did you sword yep. your wedge one? I blocked your commander and I swords Krark. Okay. Uh, so I gain two life. Two life. Second main. Now I feel safe casting my commander. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll now cast Okun. So I get to flip at the beginning of combat whenever a player wins a flip coin flip double its power and toughness, which I'm sure if I cast that before, that probably would have seen the sword. All right, pass the turn. Untap. Draw. <laughs> Just a little. Just a couple. I'm gonna go to combat. Swing at you with Kamiz and the Consecrated Sphinx. I'm gonna give Kamiz the unblockable connive trigger. Consecrated Sphinx will not be able to get the double strike. He's just gonna come at you. So I'm gonna draw a card. So I'm losing. And I'm gonna discard Wonder. Seven. That will put a plus one counter onto Kamiz. And you will be taking That's in here. two, three, and then so three plus five is eight in the air. Mm -hmm. Second main phase. One, two, three. Uh, no, I'm nervous. Now I feel like I'm the one that's like shaking. <laughs> uh, He's like, four, I'm so five, close to the finish line. I'm gonna cast Notorious Throng for its prowl that. cost. What Create we... X one one black fairy rogue creature tokens with uh, flying, where X is the damage dealt to your opponents this turn. If this spell's prowl cost was paid, take an extra turn after this one. Shut the front. Indoor. And it's a tribal sorcery rogue. Oh. That's the one to counter. Yeah. Shit. You I good? tap two blue. Uh huh. And I counter with my training. <laughs> yeah. Training center. <laughs> training wheels. Oh, that's is that right. what I heard. Yeah, I showed you it earlier. Uh, yeah, he showed it. Earlier. Yeah, I did. He I was, did. I was so depressed because I was like, I knew that this was over. Yeah. I saw the the light at the tunnel coming. Yeah. Back to the training. So wheels. I'll make eight uh, one one black fairy rogue Shh. creature tokens. And you take an extra turn. With flying. Yes. Yeah, then eight. I take an extra turn. You come in with all flying. Uh, I'll that's go to my extra turn. I'll untap. Yeah, draw your card. Untap, upkeep, draw. I will just go to combat, not wasting anybody's time. I will swing on you. I will trigger Kamiz, giving it to the Kamiz, drawing, and then discarding propaganda to give her another plus one counter. And I have, I believe, enough to. Uh, you have more than lethal. I go down to zero. Hey, hey you got it. Hey, hey, we we got all, got they're it. all scared about the comma because the comma uh, is scary. Right? Kind of, kind of get to get two. Pop off with him, but I do. I do feel at the game, bud. <laughs> I was just a spectator. I was just watching it all going down. 
No, it was fun watching you flip 100 coins and win once. That was <laughs> once. Yeah, I that did a lot of flips. You won the gamble. Thanks to this coin right there. That dang old gamble. boom pile, and you man. you won our hearts. That needs a boom house. Yeah, you lost the boom. <sighs> Dude. <sighs> I really appreciate you guys being on the show. Great again, win again, Good brother. Thank hey, you. thanks for coming on the show. Good great, game, great, great win. Playing with you, Lynch. We got to see yeah. a bunch of unique decks at this table. To, to make up the time when we yeah. played the CDH game and we beat people like True. turn three, turn four, we had to oh, take our shot for winning. Mopped us up, dude. <laughs> hey, oh you take it away here. Hey, this is gonna hurt. Good lord. Here you go. Right? Cheers. I'm right. staying up tonight. Cheers, guys. Oh, yeah. If you want to take spicy hot Ooh. shot sauce, come on the show. I, you can I'm be feeling. idiots like us drinking hot sauce. Oh. But Sky, Uncle Sky's <laughs> hot sauce is awesome. Oh. Alto. So, so with that said, though, guys, <laughs> I really appreciate you guys. Uh, every other Friday, our show drops on YouTube. Keep checking us out. I really appreciate all your viewers. You guys are why we keep making it. And we'll keep bringing you interesting decks. Keep telling us in the comments, what decks do you want to see? <clears throat> What cards are you excited to see? See you later. If you want to support I Hate Your Deck, please consider joining our Patreon. It's an excellent community that we have built with people from around the world where we play magic in our Discord using Spell Table. If you haven't had a chance to play online magic yet, try out our Discord. It's a great community where people are gaming daily. And every Thursdays we have Commander Day where people play all day and night, but the community's gotten so big, Commander Day is almost every day at I Hate Your Deck. Hey, it's time for the Patreon shout outs. I'd like to thank TJ Burden, Matthew Black, and Dimitri Ruiz. Thanks guys. If you want a shout out, you need to be a tier four or tier five patron where we give shout outs. Now we love all of our patrons, but it's just one of the perks of being a tier four or tier five patron. Without you patrons, we wouldn't be where we are today and we wouldn't be able to keep making content. So thank you so much for helping us make this show a reality. And we're really excited to keep bringing you great content for the years to come. I can't wait to be able to bring my son on the channel once he gets old enough, let me tell you. I hate your deck. Wizards of the West Coast, tapping out and slinging spells. Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out and slinging spells. I hit your deck. Wizards of the West Coast. I hit your deck. Wizards of the West Coast. I hit your deck. Join the I Hate Your Deck Patreon exclusive Discord to get the various benefits and be able to play Commander daily with people from around the world in our global community.